Let's do a couple of exercises with the Navier-Stokes equations. First, let's consider an incompressible Newtonian fluid sitting at rest in a tank, which I've shown here. So the depth of the tank is h. Simplify the Navier-Stokes equations for this particular situation. What did you get? Just 0 equals 0 everywhere? Or rho del v del t equals minus del p del x? Or del p del y equals minus rho g? Or del p del x equals rho g? Or del p del t equals rho g? So in full, the Navier-Stokes equations state rho del v del t plus rho v dot grad v equals minus grad p plus mu Laplacian of v plus rho times v. But v is zero in this situation and constant, so these three terms disappear, and the body force is just due to gravity in the y direction, so it's just zero minus g zero, which leaves us with minus del p del y minus rho g is equal to zero, or del p del y equals minus rho g. Now integrating this result between zero and h with respect to y, we get minus rho g h. Now let's do an example of a parabolic flow between two parallel boundaries at y equals plus or minus a, where the flow velocity is maximum value of capital U in the center and is zero on the boundaries at y equals plus a and minus a. If you simplify the Navier-Stokes equations for this situation where u is only a function of y and v and w are zero, such that u of y is capital U times 1 minus y squared over a squared, what is the x-force balance equation of Navier-Stokes? Did you get rho capital U du dy equals minus dp dy? Or dp dx equals 2 mu capital U over a squared? Or dp dx equals minus 2 mu capital U over a squared? Or dp dx equals rho g? Or dp dx equals minus 2 mu capital U y over a squared? Well, if we write the first force balance equation, it's rho del u del t plus rho u del u del x plus rho v del u del y plus rho w del u del z equals minus del p del x plus mu times Laplacian of u plus rho times bx. Now, all of these terms go to zero because u is only a function of y and v is zero, which simplifies to dp dx equals mu times the Laplacian of u, which is just mu times d2 u dy squared, which is therefore minus 2 u mu over a squared, or choice c.